sleep has been taken away from my eyes. Don't start again. Whatever it is, we can talk about it tomorrow. Please. My very existence hangs in a balance. My God, don't let me die like this. What are you talking about? I, I am less than a man. I've been unable to... to Says who? <laughs> you are a man. A man who is my husband. That is to the eyes of men. But to you and I, I am nothing short of a eunuch. When will you stop eating up yourself and turn your hopes to God? Don't you believe God? And, and I, I hope to be straight out in my impotency and a male child is dropped into my arms. Oh, so all this because of a male child? But Beatrice, I need an heir. I need somebody to continue with my name when I'm gone. It is true we have Jenny and Jessica, but... Patrice, I want you to get pregnant. Pregnant? Yeah. I want you to sleep with Ben. Blood of Jesus! You mean you cannot find a 25-year-old jailed man one week after his sudden disappearance from home? Then why are you in uniform? Why on earth are you in uniform? Why? Chief, the circumstances of this case are peculiar. We have a threat to the AIG. Damn the AIG. I want my son back. Sir, we are throwing all our weight on it. Do more. Come all the streets, hotels, residential areas. Anywhere, everywhere. Do you understand? One more thing, sir. What is it? Does he run any account, you know, sir? What kind of stupid question is that? Yes, he is a multimillionaire, son. Do you understand? He runs a string of accounts. A string of accounts. That is exactly the problem, sir. What exactly are you driving at, officers? You know, his access to such funds can further deter the possibilities of finding him. He could even leave our shores. Then I'll order a clarification on all withdrawals made and other details, perhaps. Huh? But I can't freeze those accounts. My son must not go hungry. Look, you must find him. Find him. We promise you, Chief, we'll find him. You don't have a choice. Parents don't say anything concrete. Nothing. Nothing more than, more than I already know. He's missing. If I hadn't met him, I would have waved him over as an irresponsible young man. But knowing him, it's something I can't really figure out. You see, but the last time we were together, he, he dropped me off and called 20 minutes later to say he had to take care of something. And that was the last time I heard of him. Amaka. You know I'm not that chudy type, but at times like this, it's wise to turn all hopes to God. I know, Edith, I know, but can't you see that I love him? I love him. If you love him, then let your love keep those hopes alive, okay? It's just hard. The thoughts of him just keep racing across my mind. I just don't know what to do. I'm going crazy. It's not the thoughts that comes into your mind that matters. But the ones you are allowed to stay. So please do something, okay? I don't like seeing you in this mood. Please. <laughs> Where are you now? <laughs> Maka, please stop crying. Stop doing this to yourself. <laughs>
doctor didn't keep lessons free for you to know. I knew it the moment I saw these stitches on my groin. You can hope for a miracle, Carlo. You don't understand, Ben. You don't understand. It is not the test of a woman that I desire. It is the cry of a baby. That has been the burden I have always borne. I understand. I understand. The Jews are just two children. Two girls who will be married off one day and adopt names which bear no memories of me whatsoever. What happens to all I have toiled for? Labored for from year to year. What happens to my name? Carlo, you're working yourself up. You're working yourself up unnecessarily. Calm down. Calm down? Yes. Did you say calm down? I can't calm down. You can't calm down. So you want to be back on the hospital bed with an oxygen mask attached to your nostrils? Is that what you want? For how long have we been friends, Ben? Well, 18, 20 years or thereabout. Well, for the past 20 years, I've known you as a very good friend. Surely you can't refuse me anything, can you? Anything like what, Carmen? Well, anything like giving me a son. I'm sorry, I, you've lost me there. I don't understand. Give me a son, Ben. Give you a son? How? I want you to give me a son by my wife. Carlo! Obina is not a bastard. He is my son. Do you understand? He is my son. Maybe you think I'm afraid of you. Okay. We shall see. If in seven days I do not see Obina, you will see what I'm doing. Go and come back. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Right, you think I'm afraid of you? We shall see. Come see. Come see. Ijoa, Ijoa. Food? I am more hungry. You have hardly eaten anything all day. Honey, I prepared your favorites. I know you would like it. Take it away. Oh, 
Honey, your heart is gradually slipping away from me. You hardly say anything to me. All you do is to talk aloud to yourself, burdening your heart with the thoughts of a male child. What do you want me to do? So you want me to give in to your pressures, sleeping with my husband's best friend? Carly, is that all you want from me? Carly, is that what you want to hear from me? Exactly. That is it. I will not. Ah! Is it a do or die affair? You know, will you get out of my I will not. You are my husband. Get out of my face. Come here. Come here. Come Come here. 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 She's always beating me like this. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm, I'm surprised, though. Get, after two decades that I've known you, Carlo, I've never seen you raise your hand against a woman. Man, I, I, I just lost it. So you can't just lose it, man. You can't just lose it. Look, you're a man. She's a woman. <laughs> Listen, madam, madam, please. Carlo, whatever is a problem here can be sorted out amicably. OK? Now tell me, what's the problem? Hmm? Can you have to tell him? Go ahead, go ahead and tell him what you want me to do. Tell him what you want me to do. Madam, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> what happened? I wonder why you have chosen this abominable act of yours when you have a son. What son are you talking about? <laughs> Carlo, didn't you tell me that you loved for furniture? Abandon your five months old son with a woman impregnated. Rachel. Finding that son of yours be a more honorable act than a willful adultery. Carlo, let me understand something here. Does it mean you have a son? <laughs> to specialize on financial accounting. Then what are you doing here? There is a lot of new banks all over. That's such in there. Sir, it's a long story. Long story is a long story. Why am I not understand? How can I employ you with your credentials? How can I? I really need a job, sir. I really need a job. Please. What do you say? That's your name again, young man. Peter Francis. Peter Francis. Well, check me next week. Let me see what I can do.
sorry, I'm so sorry, please. Aye. I'm kind of upset minded, please. I'm so sorry, please. I'm not going to tell people life. It's all right. It's just for Putin for Hala, eh? It's all right. It's all right. I mean, he has apologized. Aren't you happy to meet a Nigerian who is too bold to admit to his fault? Ah, uh, Madai, the support him. It's all right. Eh? Your apologies are accepted. It's all right. Okay, I've got myself killed. So, where are you going to so I can give you a lift so not as not to put some other people into trouble? I'm going, I'm going, I'm just going down. That way. Yeah. Okay, so can I give you a lift? Okay, no problem. No longer, no longer. Wait, wait, wait. Am I imposing myself on you? No. No. It's just that um, I have to find a job. Look, Peter. This town can't offer you anything. I mean, I only came here for my NYSC. I want to solve her. I'll go back to Abuja. I believe there are thousand and one opportunities for you out there to get a job in Abuja. So... Stop. Stop. I said stop. Okay? You don't know me. Linda, do you know where I'm coming from? But I'm only trying to help you. I mean, with my father's connection, you can get a better job. I promise you that. Let me see here. You're a nice person. You're so good to me. I appreciate it. But I don't think this will work out. Yes. Sorry, sir. Please, as you can see, I'm new in this area. Maybe you can ask someone else. Uh, for how long have you been trading here? Not quite long, and as you can see, most of the buildings have been renovated. Uh, please, do you know anybody I can ask? Maybe an old tenant or something? Uh, sir, please, I can't help you. As you can see, if you can excuse me, I have someone other things doing in the shop. So, please. Thank you, officer. 
Let's go back to Abuja. Go back to Abuja? No, no. There's no point going back to Abuja now. Let's hang around for a while. Maybe you never can tell. Something good might turn up. Ben, I am going back to Abuja. Are you driving or not? friend. Yes. How may I help you? You don't seem to recognize me. Look, I'm in a hurry. Why don't you go straight to the point? <laughs> uh, Wait a minute. Kalu? Yes. My goodness, Kalu. <laughs> it's hey, me. please tell me I am not dreaming. <laughs> you, not. you have changed so much. Where have you been? Yes, um, this is a long story. Look, Carlo, what you did was a dastardly act. How could you have abandoned Rachel and her five months old baby just like that? How could you? Look, it was not intentional. I had no option. And Rachel herself did not help matters. Defy what you did. You shouldn't have taken off just like that. You shouldn't. I have come to make her next. That's why I must see her next time. Well, I don't really know when I saw Rachel last. Two days after you abandoned her and the baby, I went to her house. The neighbors told me that she took the baby and sneaked out of the house. Jesus Christ. And you have not seen her since that time? Look, even when I had my traditional marriage, I went to her hometown. But the same story. I could not see her. I couldn't. Please, do you know the road to her village? I mean, her father's compound? I guess I do, yes. So how do I get there? I want news, officer. News! Then tell me what I need to hear. That's nonsense! Absolute nonsense! What has the police done about my son? Oh, what could be more pressing than my son, officer? Tell me, officer! What could be more pressing than my son? Then find my son, and I'll be calm. Your best is not good enough. No sense. I wanna go, me way in way. So let me get in the room at 10 so I can show you the room. I'm okay. coming right away. Okay. Okay. I, I know it. 
I feel that I am close to my son. I sincerely hope so too, Carla. So, I have a son after all. A son you've not seen for the past 25 years? Oh, don't sound judgmental, Ben. I explained everything to you. I know you explained everything to me, but this time you won't have to explain to me but to the mother of your son. Yeah, I know that won't be easy. And that's the hurdle that is standing between you and your son. <laughs> but I need that boy. That again is hard part. I mean, why now? Hmm? Why do you suddenly pop out from nowhere? Why? Don't sound like a lawyer, Ben. I'm not sounding like a lawyer, Carlo. I'm sounding like your conscience. I, I, I know I shouldn't have walked out from that woman. I know I bungled it, but, but, but he's still my son, and he will call me father. Anyhow, what's keeping this reception? Where is she? I'm so sorry for keeping you with him. Any moment for me, I'll be here to protect you. Oh, I see. Okay. So we can wait for him. Thank you. Okay, uh, Carla, you sit down while I get to the room. Okay. Yes, yes sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to. <laughs> Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, Good afternoon sir. sir. Sorry, Mr. Peter, to interrupt you. That's okay. That's okay. I'm here to introduce to the students the new cashier who will be handling the payments of the fees. Her name is Miss Jane Mado. I'm good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, ma. You heard what he just said now? Yes, sir. This is the right person to pay to, okay? Yes, yeah, that's right. Um, nice meeting you again. Okay, oh, thank you. I'll see you. My continue with the class. Is that one? Thank you. Tomorrow, yeah? So. We're going to continue from oppression. Hey, Isn't it obvious that you can't hide away from me? Are you trolling me? Yeah? Are you trolling me? No. But as you can see, destiny is. It's not. It's not. I mean, you don't know me. I'm not your kind. Then what kind are you? I am the kind with no future. No hope. No... It's okay. You're better than all those things and you know it. The reason why I came here is to be alone. So, let me be. Isn't it clear to you that you can't be alone, Peter? You can't be alone. I am not Peter. Then, who are you? I'm Obina. God. You're getting me confused. The first time it was Peter, and now you're telling me Obina. Tell me, who are you? I... I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Richard. Did I hear you say Richard? Yes. Is he still alive? Uh, sir, uh, that is the reason why we came to see Marjorie. Yeah. 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 They tell us if yeah. Richard is alive or not. I am Marjorie. Oh. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. But I have not set my eyes on Richard for the past 27 years. You. 
You mean Richard left this compound for Anisha 27 years ago and since then she has not returned. The last I heard was that she was living with a man for whom she had a baby. <sighs> My sister had a baby for a man she never got married to and she didn't consider it necessary to introduce it, the man to her people. For me, it was just an insult. Well, 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 was that the last you heard of her? Yes, hmm? You wish it was? Yes. I, 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 I don't understand. Well, Richard lives in a brothel in Asaba. Feeding there as a prostitute. Hey! But I don't blame her. It was the irresponsible man that plunged her into the mess and led her into a life of... Well, uh, um, uh, I, I, I am that man. Uh, you see, I, I, I didn't mean to abandon Rachel and my son. Just that Rachel didn't make it easy for me. I, I was frustrated. So? Why are you here? Just to ridicule me? No, 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 no. Far from me. I've just come for my wife and my son. <laughs> your wife and your son, indeed. Look, my dear. I don't have the strength for a good laugh. Uh, Mazi, Mazi, please. Like my friend here said, he came to look for his son and his and the mother. Please. We just need you to help us. Well, I don't know where you can get them. However, there was this young man that came from the city and said Richard lives in, in a suburb, in a brutal, near the motor park. I don't know the brutal, I don't know the motor park. Um, Mazi, this brutal you're talking about, does it, it have a name? I wouldn't know. Anyway, you can find your way into the city. Look for any of the brutals. Near the motor park. You okay. might get her if you're lucky. Okay. Thank you very much, sir, for the information. Hello. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Your GP is dropping and your grades are dwindling. I you know it might affect you. I don't care either. <sighs> Honey, if this is about Obina, then I know you have cause to worry. You don't, have, you don't just have to allow this, as in, take off your primary focus hair. You're here to get your degree, not a life partner. I know. It is, I know, but I'm worried. I just. I just want to know if he's where he is, if he's safe and and why he left like that, huh? Yes. Amaka, you know I care about you. I won't allow you ring yourself here. If Obina is meant for you, then destiny must put you both together again. Are you sure? Yes. Now let's go to the class. Hmm? It's alright. Let me. Change it to something. All right, I'm waiting. For you. you deceived me into this, Otika. You deceived me. Attend 
this morning. And I'm in the mood for this. Hey, the doctor has confirmed that there is nothing wrong with me. But he insisted on seeing you. I have also confirmed with the doctor that I'm okay. What is wrong in seeing a second doctor? Are you suspecting that I'm sterile? My husband and I have not said so. I have not said so. Listen, there are more civilized ways of handling issues like this. I'm not particularly a traditionalist. More civilized ways? Yes. I'm not particularly traditionalist. Yes, more civilized ways. We can still have our own child. I mean, our own baby. How? <laughs> anyway, I have it all worked out. Is this what you have worked out? Answer me, is this what you have worked out? <laughs> He is our son. He is my son. You are wrong. This time you are wrong. <laughs> so, is that why you are doing it now? Since I'm alive. I've known the wrong man as my father, disowned by his people, called a stranger, and labeled an outcast. But that is the only place you belong. I mean, that is the place you can call home. That home is nothing but a lie, Jenny. My identity, my person, are all lies. It could be now. You are like a fish out of water. Return home. I mean, it is better to live with him, whom you know as father, than search for him, whom you do not know. The elders asked him, for how long are you going to keep a lamb amongst lion and feed it with flesh? And the lamb has the lion's heart. Not when he strays out of the cage to feed on the grass. It might be mistaken for a prey and devoured by the tiger. Don't you understand? Do not stray away from your cave, baby. Please, return home. That is where you belong. I'm sure you're ready for it. Oh, no, 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 no,
market. If they ship this money. Goodness. I hope my son does not live in this kind of environment. Kalu, you sound as if you have a choice. How about that Hey, now me. Uh-uh. Hey, Oga. Me and Kor. Adeyao. Oga. Jesus Christ. What is the desire? What is the desire? What did happen here? We could have stopped that. What is it? Rachel. Kalu. She do what? Yes. Rachel, it's me. Kalu. Yes, it's me. Leave here now, or I swear I will have you skinned alive. Rachel. I know I've hurt you. You spin it off again, please. Huh? You beast! You heartless beast! Please, Rachel, please forgive me. Okay? You are mean. You abandoned me to fate with a five-month-old child? Please, I, 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 I... How did you know that I am here? How did you get here? Well, I have searched everywhere for you. I, I, I have come to, to take you home where you belong. Huh? Absolute nonsense. Take me to where? I have come to fetch you and our son. Son? Yes. Do you have a son? Were you ever a father? Yes. You are dead. Dead in my life. Please. Please forgive me. Forgive you. Easier said than done. Just take a good look at me. What you have turned me into. See what I have become. Roger, just find it in your heart to let go. I have come to, 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 to make good what I did wrong. You don't even belong here. It is too late. Get no, out. No, Rachel. Get out! Get out! Get out of my life! For years, I hoped and prayed for a savior. It is only painful that the man I hated most will turn out to be the one sent by God. I too will be a savior, you know. How do you know? I don't understand. Please, where is our son? Two days after you left, I couldn't take it any longer. So I sneaked out of the house. I dropped him. I dropped him. Yes, you dropped him where? I dropped him. So you want to tell me that this man had to abandon you? And this little bit all they know. Why do you not want to pay No money. It's not enough reason for him to abandon you and a baby of five months. Huh? Please, Ma, I can't give this child. Please, you have to help me. At least for the sake of this child. Listen, it's either you start a trade, or you can even get to your parents. I mean, they will help you out. Mm -mm. Hmm? No, Ma, please. My father will kill me. 
It was I guess my coming to Onisha in the first place. There you are. Your father is against you, then you left the home. But why don't you keep your legs together? Now look at the problem you have caused for the entire world. And for the little baby. Oh, I swear. You cannot take this child away from me. Oh, so I'm me. going to tear his body to pieces. God, I'm throwing him under a rubbish. Please, please, please. Please. Come down. Please. Oh, God. What is the name of the orphanage? St. Christopher's Orphanage at our nation. Check me the right way. It's been 25 years now. I don't care. I don't care, they must have records. I want my son back. I don't think Obina's name was recorded. Because she merely took him from me out of pity. Well, reserve all the questions until we get there. Do you think we should have told him? In a thousand years, I would have kept it from him. All I wanted him to know me as was a father. Do you think he will be back? No, oh, sir. I really do wish so. This is the only place he can call a home. He belongs here. In his heart, he knows it. He feels it. We no longer here. No one stays here above 15 years. Most of them are adopted at their very tender age. Why some go through the primary level by the help of the government. And the, the most intelligent ones are sent to the university through scholarship. While the non-intelligent ones are given training under our skill acquisition programs. What is that so? But what, what happens after their education? Well, the girls could get married while the boys find a place to lay their heads. Jesus Christ. Uh, but tell me, do you have any system of uh, keeping records and data? Yes. But it's very primary. That means we have to go through the files ourselves. Is that what we are saying? Yes. I'll get you the files dated from 1980 to It only means that he was adopted at a very tender age. But is there no way we can find out who actually adopted him? Well, if you can still remember the head matron of the orphanage as at that time, 
We can get to where we are the him. You mean the very person I handed the baby to? Yes. Mm. I never knew her name, but she was tall, fair. She was fair in complexion. Yes. Um, and uh, that must be Mrs. Sibe, I think. The dead past matron of your family. I think she's the one. I'm sure she must have some personal files with her. So where can we find her? Well, she's living at the orphanage for tax. C block in one to seven. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you madam. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Can we, can we, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My poor sight can now be really help me. I don't think I can remember. I can't, I don't think so. If you don't think so. I was the girl that came knocking on your door on a cold night some years back. I can't still remember my daughter. I can't. I can't. Ma Madam, Madam, yeah. don't you have a register of little children who were adopted at the tender age in 1980? 1980, yes. Yeah, there's a register for that. Okay. You can wait. Let me get it. Okay. 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 Sit down now. Calm down. I can't. I have tried to, but I can't. Yes. Hello, uh -huh. sir. What's that from here? Is it been a go to or go to? Oh, yeah, they got to go to. I'm not I'm not been here. Okay. Oh, been now. Aged five months. Yes. 11th August 1980. Yes. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ikechuku Otika, no, number 10 Otika Crescent, GRA, Onesha. Hey! Out! Now I remember! Uh -huh. remember. A boy of five months yes. that was abandoned by the father. Yes! It's me that. But who among is the father? No, so, madam, it's not important. Uh, that's the story about that. It's important, oh. Madam, we know. Eh? We know. Do you may have to come with us. You're glad like that, really? It's true. Yes. You give me some time. I have to change, please. Okay, okay. Just wait this outside. Oh, okay. Wait a few minutes. Okay. Please. Please. please hurry up. Yes. Hurry up, ma'am. Alistair, you see, I called you here to make a formidable change in my will. Head, I'm all ears, chief. I want all my investments, estates, business concerns, I mean everything, willed to my only son, Obina Uchika. Consider it done, Chief. And my piece of land at Oka District. I also wanted willed to St. Christopher's Orphanage. That is also taking notice. That's all right. So I'll drop by at your office tomorrow morning so I can append my seal of authority to the paperwork. OK? It's OK. I'll be waiting. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you once again, Barrister. You're welcome, Chief. Thank you. Um, Chief, I think I have to rush off now. That's all right. Meet up with
Pregnant. I wasn't sure whether it was for you or for Fred. I approached Fred with the pregnancy and he denied it. So I put it on you, Carlo. Wait, 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 wait. Rachel, are you trying to say that between these two men, you aren't sure who owned the pregnancy? Is that what you're trying to say? Tell me, Jenny. Tell me. Who do I call my father? I am your father. I am your father. Who am I, my money? Who am I?
Who am I?